Mercury. Mercury orbits so close to our solar furnace that its sunny side reaches a toasty 800 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt zinc, lead, and your dreams of survival. Your blood would boil in about 15 seconds, which is actually merciful because you'd simultaneously be getting radiation doses that would kill you in minutes anyway. But here's Mercury's favorite party trick. Step into the planet's shadow and you'll instantly freeze to death at minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's nature's most sadistic thermostat, switching between pizza oven and frozen hell with zero chill. Mercury also has virtually no atmosphere, so you'd get the full cosmic radiation experience while your body fluids boil away in the vacuum. The planet completes three rotations for every two orbits around the sun, creating this bizarre day-night cycle that lasts 176 Earth days. Plenty of time to contemplate whether you're currently being cooked or flash frozen. NASA's messenger probe studied Mercury from 2011 to 2015 before crash landing on the surface. Even our robots eventually give up on this place. Venus. Venus makes Mercury look like a spa retreat. With surface temperatures of 900 degrees Fahrenheit and atmospheric pressure 90 times stronger than Earth's, you'd be simultaneously cooked, crushed, and dissolved. The atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide with sulfuric acid clouds, the universe's version of battery acid rain. The winds at high altitude reach 200 miles per hour, but don't worry about being blown around. You'll be dead long before that becomes a concern. The Soviet Union's Venera program sent multiple probes here in the 1970s and 80s. The longest survivor lasted 127 minutes before Venus murdered it. Even our robots tap out faster than a UFC fighter facing their own reflection. Your official cause of death would be listed as everything simultaneously, which is probably a first for coroners throughout the galaxy. Earth. Wait, we live here, so obviously Earth doesn't want to kill us, right? Wrong. Earth is just more patient about it. Our lovely blue marble is constantly trying to murder its inhabitants through earthquakes, tsunamis, hurricanes, volcanoes, and the occasional asteroid. The Chicxulub impact 66 million years ago wiped out the dinosaurs, proving Earth has commitment issues with its tenants. Currently, Earth's doing the slow burn approach with climate change, gradually making the planet less hospitable while we debate whether it's happening. But let's say you're visiting Earth from space without proper equipment. The atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. Sounds reasonable until you realize that falling from space you'd burn up from atmospheric friction long before reaching the ground. If you somehow survived re-entry, you'd still need to deal with gravity constantly trying to pull you toward the center of the planet at 9.8 meters per second squared. Earth kills more humans per year than any other planet, which makes sense since we're the only known inhabited one. But still, the statistics are damning. Mars. Mars seems friendly until you realize it's catfishing you looking habitable from a distance, but revealing its murderous intentions up close. The atmosphere is 95% carbon dioxide, with pressure so low that your blood would bubble and boil through a process called ebolism, which sounds way cooler than the agonizing reality of your bodily fluids turning into foam. It's like drowning in your own carbonated blood while suffocating and freezing simultaneously. Temperatures average minus 80 degrees Fahrenheit, ranging from a balmy 70 degrees Fahrenheit at the equator during summer to minus 195 degrees Fahrenheit at the poles during winter. The thin atmosphere provides virtually no protection from cosmic radiation, so you'd be getting a constant dose of cancer-causing rays while your blood bubbles and your lungs collapse. Dust storms can engulf the entire planet for months, turning day into night and coating everything in iron oxide, rust, basically you'd die on a rusty, frozen, irradiated desert while choking on dust and your own foaming blood. NASA's been planning crewed Mars missions for decades, which is optimistic considering we'd need life support systems just to prevent crew members from dying horribly within minutes of stepping outside. Jupiter. Jupiter doesn't mess around with creative deaths. It just overwhelms you with pure, devastating force like a cosmic mob enforcer. As you fall through the atmosphere, you'd experience increasing pressure, temperature, and radiation that would kill you multiple times over long before you hit anything resembling a surface, assuming there even is one, which scientists aren't entirely sure about. 
Jupiter might just be gas all the way down, which means you'd be compressed into a human diamond before dissolving into the planetary atmosphere. The radiation alone from Jupiter's magnetosphere is 1,000 times more lethal than doses that would kill you on Earth. Jupiter traps charge particles in magnetic field lines, creating radiation belts that would fry your DNA faster than a microwave on steroids. The Great Red Spot, Jupiter's signature storm, has been raging for at least 400 years and is larger than Earth. Wind speeds inside reach 400 miles per hour, so you'd be caught in a hurricane that's been going since before the Mayflower landed at Plymouth Rock. Jupiter has 95 known moons that'll kill you through volcanism, radiation, or crushing ice. The Galileo probe lasted 58 minutes in 1995 before Jupiter crumpled it like a soda can. Jupiter is basically nature's trash compactor with a PhD in murder. Saturn. Saturn offers the same charming death by crushing as Jupiter, but with more style and better Instagram opportunities before you die. Those gorgeous rings that make Saturn the solar system's supermodel? They're chunks of ice and rock orbiting at 50,000 miles per hour in an incredibly thin disk, only about 30 feet thick in most places, but up to 175,000 miles wide. Getting hit by Saturn's ring debris would be like being shot by a cosmic shotgun loaded with supersonic ice cubes and frozen bowling balls. The planet itself has winds up to 1,100 miles per hour at the equator, strong enough to launch you into orbit if the crushing atmospheric pressure doesn't liquefy you first. Saturn's atmosphere is mostly hydrogen and helium, so you'd suffocate while being compressed and blown around by winds that make Earth's hurricanes look like a gentle breeze. The hexagonal storm at Saturn's North Pole is larger than Earth and has been photographed looking like nature's most ominous stop sign. Saturn has 146 known moons, all participating in the family business of creative destruction. Uranus. Uranus was likely knocked sideways by a massive collision early in its formation, and honestly, it's been having an identity crisis ever since. At minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit, your body heat would drain away so rapidly that hypothermia would set in within seconds, causing violent shivering that breaks your ribs before your muscles seize up completely. The hydrogen-helium-methane atmosphere would suffocate you as your lungs desperately try to extract oxygen from cosmic fart gas, while methane poisoning scrambles your brain chemistry and triggers hallucinations during your final moments. Wind speeds reach 560 miles per hour, so you'd be blown around like a frozen meat popsicle in a methane hurricane while tumbling through a magnetic field. Uranus takes 84 Earth years to orbit the Sun, and each season lasts 21 years, meaning you'd have two decades to contemplate your slow-motion death by atmospheric abuse. Your body would become a frozen pinball, bouncing through a methane hurricane, while radiation slowly liquefies your internal organs. Neptune. Neptune takes everything terrible about Uranus and amplifies it to ear-bleeding levels, like the universe's most sadistic sound engineer. Wind speeds hit 1,200 miles per hour, faster than the speed of sound on Earth, which means you'd be hit by supersonic atmospheric pressure waves while being flash frozen at minus 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'd simultaneously experience the world's worst case of frostbite and the planet's most aggressive full body massage, delivered by winds moving at Mach 1.5. Neptune is so far from the sun that it receives only 0.1% of the sunlight that Earth gets, making it the coldest planet in the solar system. This extreme cold would shut down your metabolism within seconds as your core body temperature plummets, causing your heart to stop beating and your brain to cease all electrical activity before you could even register the pain. Pluto. Poor Pluto got demoted from planet to dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union, but it'll still kill you just as efficiently as its more prestigious planetary cousins. At minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, Pluto is so cold that nitrogen, carbon monoxide, and methane freeze solid on the surface. The atmosphere is incredibly thin, about 100,000 times thinner than Earth's, so you'd suffocate while flash freezing into a human popsicle in a landscape that looks like frozen hell with a thin atmosphere of evaporating ice. So there you have it, nine different ways the solar system wants to murder you. Whether you prefer being crushed, frozen, boiled, or dissolved, space has options. 
the universe spent 13.8 billion years evolving countless ways to kill you, and honestly, it shows. Maybe stick to Earth, where at least you get decent Wi-Fi while slowly dying from something normal like taxes.